Why? Hello and welcome everybody. It is Pox again. So today I want to go ahead and kind of show you guys my day one uh, progress through Mayhem. Now I was on the top 10. Actually I was number one for a little while yesterday. But I just woke up so let me show you guys where I'm at right now. So top one is 86, we're 74. Number 10 is 81, we're 74. So we could probably catch up today. Uh, the reason why I stopped yesterday, because I did want to actually go quite a bit further, is I found a Bringer of Rain, and I also found a Voice of the Storm, and I also found a Wise Oak, and bought a Tabula Rasa. And I did have plans on going Low Life Righteous Fire on day one. The problem is, is that uh, when you're, I guess, kind of far ahead, either you have to just play an extreme amount more while you wait for people to catch up to you, uh, or you can just go to sleep, which is what I did, and basically wake up when the market is a bit more saturated uh, and start kind of picking off your uniques then. So that's kind of what I'm doing right now because it's kind of sketchy for me to level as um, RF totems right now, just because I don't want to keep specking into life because the more life that I specialize into, um, the more respecking I'm going to have to do later. And I can show you guys my tree here in a little bit, and I'll go over my links. You don't need to use the Tabula Rasa at all for this, by the way. I know I'm using one right now, but um, I mean, I was competing for a top top one for quite a while with no Tabula Rasa, so it's totally totally possible. Let me see if we can just pop this. Also, for Mayhem, if you guys want some tips, <laughs> I would recommend highly farming strongbox zones and rogue exile zones. I think when you get higher level, though, rogue exile zones far or fall off a little bit. Invasion bosses are super fucking terrifying early game. Oh, that hurt. And be really careful of chaos damage just because of invasion, because invasion's back right now. So these boots, Dusk Toe, are like super OP because you get like awesome, awesome, uh, whatchamacallit from them, chaos resistance. Okay, this guy's being a fucking douchebag. I feel like I need to start alking every single Every single, like, uh, GCP box to come across. So yeah, so what I recommend doing personally is rotating between a couple zones. So I'm currently farming in mines just because it's got strong boxes. You can go like Mines, Dried Lake. I really think Aqueduct is pretty good if you can get strong boxes because I think you can like rain down Tabula Rasas. So that's going to be a goal that we're going to do. But yeah, so the skill tree is as follows. It may look a little different from what I'm doing normally, but everything pretty much looks the same. Like Respect Totem damage here. Um, respect Totem nodes here. Uh, potentially Respect my Dex nodes. Drop the area and Ellie damage here. Uh, and then we'll start going into low life RF, but this is pretty much the character that I've got as of right now. Works out really well for racing day one, actually way better than I thought because look at my resistances. 22, 40, 46. I just go to my hideout, run purity of fire, purity of elements, all of a sudden I'm, uh, I'm essentially capped on everything. Let me like get to here. This will be a better place to show you. There you go. I'm 103, 72, 78. And the RF seems to degen most mobs before it dies anyway, so it's not really much of an issue at all. Even when I was on a 4-link, it was totally fine. This also makes your totems really good towards elemental damage, which is very important. That little fucking Sintrek, Sin Sinek, whatever the fuck his name is. Which is really important in Invasion League because Invasion has elemental damage and chaos damage. Invasion pretty much just has shit like all over the place. Uh, so let's go over the links that I'm using right now. Ink AoE, Spell Totem, Elemental Focus, Righteous Fire, Rapid Decay, Increased Burn Damage. Now, because I'm playing RF Totem, I'm leveling Discipline, Curse on Hit, Vitality, Purity of Fire, uh, Purity of Lightning, I'm leveling some Purity of Isis. There's four Blood Magics right here in my helmet. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much all I've got going for me. I don't really have too much progress content for you guys yet. Uh, I am really, really pretty much waiting till I can go low life RF and then I can start smashing out some content for you guys. But until then, there's just not too much information that I can put out for you guys. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And remember, you can catch me streaming live every day at twitch.tv slash pox. So you guys can pretty much see my progress throughout this league. Hope you guys had a wonderful time and I'll see you boys all tomorrow. Take care, everybody.